Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Generation 1 Prowl and I love this toy. Originally released in 1984, he retailed for approximately $7 to $10 if memory serves me right. It was a long time ago and I don't really remember. If I'm wrong about that, by all means, please leave me a comment and let me know. Now, this version that we're seeing here is not a G1. This is actually a reissue uh, from July of 2002. This was a Japanese reissue. This guy came in a white box. We're going to show off here. And uh, retailed for approximately 3,000 yen. Yen, sorry about that. Uh, 3,000 yen, uh, which in today's uh, exchange, uh, as of the time of this recording, is approximately $26. So there you go. That's uh, uh, what it looks like. And there's really, uh, from what I've been able to tell, no difference between this guy and the original. Now, uh, Prowl here in vehicle mode is approximately four and a half inches long and about one and a half inches tall, very small. These original G1 cars, they were all very, very small and I just love, they're, they're so nice to just kind of hold in your hand and just kind of play with them. Uh, I just, I love the size and proportions of these guys. A uh, lot of die cast on this guy, so he feels heavy, he feels good. Rubber wheels, he rolls great as you can see and just looks absolutely amazing. These old uh, Datsun cars, they, they look great. I've got two of them. Uh, I, I'm still looking for the third one, so this is the first of three. Um, that I'm looking at here. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. And uh, as I understand it, back in the day, um, Japanese Highway Patrol really did use these old uh, Datsuns uh, as patrol cars. So, there you go. Very, very awesome. Um, so, real quick for comparison, let's show them off with uh, a couple of his uh, other Autobot brethren. Just so you guys can see uh, size comparisons here. And, you know, they're all pretty small. They're all pretty uh, comparable in size, which is great because they all would roll right up into Optimus' trailer or uh, Ultra Magnus' trailer, uh, and they all just fit right in very nicely. So there you go. There's the three of them uh, together, and, uh, and we're all set. Now, transformation for this guy, as with most uh, G1 Autobots, relatively simple. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start down here at the bottom. Uh, go ahead and take the fister down here under the hood, and they are pegged into each other's arms. So just unpeg those, and then you can rotate these out and bring the arms out, just like that. Once you get out here, you can go ahead and straighten it out to the so that the uh, wheel is facing the back of the car. And then you can just kind of straighten out the uh, rest of the arm down there. If my voice sounds weird, guys, by the way, I was in a parade last night uh, doing my Ghostbuster thing, and... Um, I was uh, yelling, uh, who are you going to call a lot? <laughs> so um, I've barely got any voice left. <laughs> so, But anyway, back to the transformer here. So there's the, uh, the arms are done. Go back here to the center of the car, open up the doors. Uh, go to the back of the car here and uh, pull up on these windows here. And that's going to allow you to bring down the whole back half of the car, just like this. Take this piece down here and flip this forward. That's going to allow you to rotate the ha the bottom half of the robot. And then you bring that back down, and that's going to lock it into place. You can extend oh, you can extend the legs, and then you can just go ahead and rotate them in or down, and then separate the legs down there. And that's going to lock it so that it doesn't fall forward. If See, when you bring them in, it's not locked. That's just going to fall back like that. So when you bring the robot up, you separate the, the feet, and that's going to keep the robot up. So... There's that. I'll bring the legs or the arms down, open the doors all the way, and then finally we're just going to bring down the uh, roof of the car, and that's going to reveal the head. And there is Prowl in robot mode. Now, Prowl's got a couple of weapons, so we're going to go. If they're not, uh, I guess they're not cartoon accurate. I don't remember him wearing these in the cartoon, but I am going to go ahead and give them to him anyway. So he's got these two missile launchers. There you go. So he's got two of these, and uh, these guys are going to peg into the side of his head right there. He's got these little peg holes right there. So now it's just a matter of remembering which side goes which. Oh, I think I got it right on the first try. So there's that one. And then get him the other one. Just like that. Just mount those up on his shoulders. And then finally, he does come with this little gun. Show that off. And, of course, he can hold that in either hand. 
And there you go. There's Prowl in robot mode, and he looks incredible. Uh, here in robot mode, Prowl measures approximately three and a half inches tall. So, you know, as with most of these Autobot, original Autobot cars, um, pretty small. Uh, but out of, you know, even though they're all small, this guy actually seems to be uh, of the smallest uh, of the bunch. Um, you know, him and his uh, other two fair lady brothers. Uh, they seem to be on the very short end compared to the, uh, most other Autobot cars. Uh, for articulation, you don't really have a whole lot of articulation, nothing at the head. Uh, just the uh, arms, you can move the shoulders uh, in and out, and you can move them forward and backwards. Or you can rotate them forward like, like, like that. And as you can see, you can bend the elbow, and then you've also got a rotation at the wrest. That's going to be it. <laughs> it's all these original uh g1 uh transformers didn't have a whole lot of articulation now he does fire the missiles being a that he is uh, the original g1 fired missiles uh the reissue that we got here in the states did not they took away the firing mechanism uh being that this is a japanese reissue this one does have the firing mechanism so all you have to do is press on these little buttons on the top of the missile launchers and those are going to fire out quite a bit of force so that's really really nice and then, once again, for comparison, let's check him out next to a couple of his Autobot brethren. So, once again, here's Mirage. And uh, here is Sideswipe. So, as you can see, uh, Mirage of, uh, also being one of the shorter ones. So, uh, they're about three and a half inches right at the top of the head. Kind of short. And then you can see with uh, Sideswipe here, he's a little taller. Most of the Autobot cars are about this size when they're in robot mode. Uh, these guys tend to be on the short side there. So... There you go. All righty. Very awesome. Very uh, glad. I recently got this guy and added him to my collection, and I'm very happy to have done so. I'm just kind of slowly uh, filling in all the holes from my original G1 collection, uh, stuff that I didn't have as a kid or stuff that I don't have now. So I recently got this guy. I'm super happy that I did. So I think that about does it for Transformers Generation 1 Prowl. What did you think of this figure, and what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment, give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.